I just don't come back with kilts and a piper, you know, <laughs> I think it'll be a little too much. <laughs> so they're um, in Scotland, they'll be back later in the week. But we had a beautiful trip, um, great weather and, and good health, and, but above all, just to see a beautiful country, um, a place where many of our priests came from. Um, for those of you who've been, um, how many of y'all have had an Irish priest in your life? Just a show of hands. Okay, did anyone not have an Irish priest in your life? It's so, uh, that's the greatest export you know, as a country to the ages, has been the priests. Um, I can think myself, Father Page, uh, Father David Page, Father um, Sean Cooney, um, and it just goes on and on, Sean Heslin, and um, the Henrys, um, Father Dick Walsh, all these priests that came over in the 50s and 60s from the seminary and left behind their, their, their families and their friends and came to this new land and they just um, built the Church of Florida. I mean, we, are, we have faith here because of those men and we should give thanks, give thanks to them. I know I did when I was there, I'd be, be in their homeland. So being on uh, vacation and touring and, and pilgrimage as well, uh, we went to Our Lady of Knock, we, we said our prayers every day on the bus, um, we said the rosary, and we saw wonders and sights. And the one thing we didn't see was a TV. You know, it's, it's, you know, being on vacation, part of it is being away from a vacation from news. Most of the news is, of course, um, uh, uh, bad, it's, it's not good news. And so I didn't watch any TV, didn't read any newspaper, because I couldn't understand the sports page, it's all about hurling, and they're mad about hurling, and I don't get it. So I <laughs> didn't read the, the newspapers either, but took a vacation from the news. But easing back into it, um, yesterday I was in a long ticket line for a boarding pass, I was talking to this guy, uh, Irish guy, uh, waiting, and I asked him about America. He's been to America before, he's going to California, and visit relatives and ask him what's um, what's his thought about America, and and he said, well, division. You know, that came to mind. He said, division, and I said, well, you know, when we were in Belfast, we saw the the peace wall where there's actual wall still in part of the town and barbed wire over it, um, so it's not that bad. And he says, well, you don't need barbed wire. He said to have division. So. Starting to get back into the news, <laughs> back into the, in fact, to that, those things. And this parable of the weed is in wheat sounds like, yep, that's the way the world is. Uh, so we heard Deacon Dave read the, the parable is Jesus said this, this uh, farmer sowed good seed in the field, the wheat, and then an enemy came and sowed the weeds, uh, and they grew up together, and, and the servant says, should we uh, pull them up, the weeds? And the master said, no, 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 wait till the harvest, then we'll separate the weeds from the wheat. And looking in the world, you can see, yes, that's very much the truth, that the world is full of weeds and wheat. Um, healthcare, as a country, our bishop has been saying for years and years and decades and decades, we need um, affordable, accessible health care for all, still not there. That we, our immigration system is broken, we're not there. As a matter of fact, we're going the wrong way. Abortion, still not there. You know, the, the welcome the gift of a life um, is, is, is horrific. So we're clearly lots of weeds in our society. If you look around, and Deacon Dave's going to help, not like me for pointing this out, uh, we have weeds on the grounds. <laughs> and the, the most evil of all is called, called torpedo grass. Uh, I looked it up on the website just in case you didn't know. It said, eliminating torpedo grass in the lawn is a tricky business requiring tenacity and usually multiple chemical applications. The weed is nearly indestructible and has been known to come out through weed barrier fabric. So how about that? Indestructible. It's a tricky business. You know, these weeds, they're evil. And they're evil. I, mean, it's, I couldn't think of a better image for sin. You know, it's just impossible to remove. If you want to dig them out, you have to dig the whole thing out, the, the whole planter, and burn it. And just, there's nothing else you can do except to kind of tamp it down, but it's going to be back. It's never going away as long as the, as the, as the soil is there. Um, so weeds and wheat, we look at it and say, well, you know, this is the way the world is. One approach is we want to get tough on weeds, uh, get out there with those chemicals and uh, tenacity and deal with it. Um, the greed and fear and war in our world any of you all see the movie Wonder Woman? No? Okay, for those of you who don't, sorry, I'm going to tell you what's happened, all right? <laughs> uh, Wonder Woman, she's uh, this Amazonian goddess, and she thought that she just killed the god of war, that it would end the war. 
and she killed this uh, evil general, but the war continued, and she's confused. Like, I killed the bad guy, but he's still going on, and the war was still going on. So then she finally tracked down the evil god of war and killed him, and, but there's no change. And woman, Wonder Woman dawned on her that there's, uh, there's evil in all of us in the human heart. And there's good and evil, and bad and good in the human heart. It's complicated. There's weeds and wheats in our own heart. And our mother church teaches that today. Listen to the scriptures chosen for us today. You know, we sing, Lord, you are good and forgiving. And the psalm continues, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. You, O Lord, are God, merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in kindness and fidelity. Lord, you are good and forgiving. The first reading of the Book of Wisdom, talks, talking to the, speaking to the Lord, says, You, Lord, judge with clemency, clemency, with mercy. So this story about the weeds and the wheat that Jesus tells, it's not about the wicked world and, and, and the judgment coming upon them. It's about us. It's about us. Rather than pull us up, the Lord lets us grow till the harvest. You know, rather than pull us up for pointing a finger at them, those people, three fingers pointing back, <laughs> the Lord lets us grow until the harvest. And matter of fact, he sent his son, Jesus, for the sick and for the sinner. And he ate with tax collectors and sinners and, and, and welcomed prostitutes. He was with those people, those people that the world judges. He went to those places that, the, that we said were not pure, not good. That's where he went. And he went, above all, to us and suffered and died for us. His judgment is that we needed mercy. And that's what he came to give us, mercy on the cross. Now, there will be a harvest, mind you. I'd be a bad pastor if I didn't tell you, you, you get to heaven, the heavenly gates one day, and, 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 uh, and, they, and they say, well, we're going to judge you. And you're surprised. Father David never told me that. Well, I'm telling you now. <laughs> there will be a judgment. You will be judged. You'll be judged on whether you were merciful to all, especially the least and the last. Whether you gave as Christ has given himself to us. Whether you pointed fingers or whether you gave my hand up. You will be judged by mercy. For God is mercy. And look how we can live. I was reflecting on this and uh, just talking to God and, you know, say, Lord, I want to get to know you more, to know you and uh, as you want to be known. And, it, and it, the Lord made known to me, it says, well, I want to get to know you better too. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. <laughs> that means the, other th the things I'd rather, the weeds I'd rather hide and tamp down. The Lord wants to see that too and show it mercy. He loves us as we are, complicated and weedful. Lord, you are good and forgiving. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You, not us, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lord, you take away the sins of the world. 